Today, I've got the brand new June 2021 Wrestle Crate UK. So huge shout out once again to Richard over from Wrestle Crate, who once again sent me this monthly box to review my YouTube channel. Greatly appreciated. I've been trying to buy this box now for a few years, but it's exclusive to the UK. And uh, I'm extremely excited to have the opportunity to get these sent to me by Wrestle Crate to review my YouTube channel. So I actually have something a little special too. So if you are a subscriber to the Wrestle Crate, you can use my promo code FRANCHISE. What that will do for you, it will give you an extra free autograph in your first box. So if you've never tried Wrestle Crate before, use my promo code, get a bonus autograph. And it's not just like a random nobody autograph. There could be some major ones from the likes of Kurt Angle, Kane, Hall of Famers. You see where I'm going with this? So it pays to use my promo code. So I am super excited once again to get into this. I know last time, I think was the box that had the huge like Danhausen flag and that came just in time because Danhausen is actually doing a private signing this month in July in my hometown. He's going to be doing a private signing at the Toy Pit here in Indianapolis, Indiana. I think it's like the very end of July, like July 30th, around that time frame. And I'm actually going to get him to sign that flag that I got in my last Wrestle Crate box. That's going to be awesome. When I, I'm going to get that thing signed, put it up on the wall somewhere. I'm about to make some more wall space. I don't know where, but I'm going to. So I'm super excited about that. Because I was trying to figure out whenever I heard that Dan Housen was doing a private sign, I'm like, what can I get Dan Housen to sign? I'm like, he has no Funko Pops. And I was like, oh. Wrestle Crate last month had a Dan Housen like a huge flag in it. That would be awesome autographed. Worked out perfect, didn't it? So yeah, here we go. Wrestle Crate. I'll make sure down below leave a direct link to direct link to the Wrestle Crate UK. So check them out. And here we go. Feel around a little bit. Let's see what I feel. I feel a T-shirt on top. A monthly pin. A sticker. There's a DVD. They've had magazines uh, most months now. There's probably a magazine here and then the autograph. Let's do the t-shirt first. How does that sound? It is nice. Black t-shirt. My favorite, my favorite color t-shirt. Black t-shirts. Let's see what we got. Hopefully this one's going to be an awesome one. Ooh, nice soft t-shirt too. That's nice. We always like those softer t-shirts. What's it look like? What is on the shirt? What do we got? We have the new generation coming to you raw every Monday night. Okay, 94 nights, okay, the new generation. Okay, so this was the trend, kind of like, how should I explain this? The transition period between like the Hulk Hogan era of wrestling and the attitude error. There was that there's that that gap in between while WWF at the time trying to figure out which direction to go. They, you know, should we push Bret Mart? Bret Mart. Bret Hart. Should we push Bret Hart? Should we push Shawn Michaels? You know, should we just push The Undertaker? Stone or Steve Austin still was becoming the character of Stone Cold at that time. So yeah, the new generation. I remember that era. <laughs> that was my teenage years. That was the transition period. Hulk Hogan had left. He he was in now that time in WCW. A lot of wrestlers jumped to WCW and WWF was in dire need of a transition time. And this generation was very exciting time. You had WWF trying to create the new big stars. And pretty much Bret Hart during that era was the biggest star in WWF. And then, of course, as soon as, you know, there was the Montreal screw job we all know about, then Shawn Michaels became the star, Stone Cold became the star, and so on. But yeah, that's a pretty cool t-shirt. I like it. That's a total, like, a 90s vibe to it, too. I'm digging that. That is a cool t-shirt. I will be rocking that. Nice. First item. I like it. I like it. Go back in. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see. We have... We've got a sticker. Then looks like a little 
advertisement. E EPW from the vault looks like a subscription service. You want to subscribe? See some more wrestling. Okay. Go back in. Here we go. DVD. Who do we have? Who's on the DVD? We have Brian Daniels, a.k.a. most people know him as D Daniel Bryan, but in the independence before WWE, he was Brian Danielson, becoming the best in the world. As of as far as now, he hasn't signed with anybody yet. You know, his contract with WWE expired. I haven't been keeping up on my dirt sheets as much as probably what I should, but I don't think he's signed with anybody yet. I'm hoping he goes either AEW, New Japan, or ROH. I think he would do very, very well in New Japan, his style of wrestling. But who knows what he's going to do. He actually just just, just might take a few years off wrestling and come back. There's actually some good matches on here. Looks like the CM Punk match is actually from WWE time. Pretty cool. Got the DVD. Go back in. Here we go. Monthly pin. Oh, that's not a monthly pin. What do we have here? Zoe Lucas, the beauty wrestler nail buffer set I'm not too sure who this is I know some of the wrestlers in this box will be like UK based wrestlers a lot of the wrestlers that we don't hear about here in the United States um, this might be a UK based wrestler right here I don't know much about Zoe Lucas oh I bet you my wife's going to keep this for her, her nails it's literally just like nail file different i don't yeah i don't know who she wrestles for i can't even guess on that i am not too sure i don't know every independent wrestler in in the world i try to keep up with the independence as well as i could a few years back i was keeping up with the independence really really well and then aew you know they started and now most of my attention has now gone to aew and I still try to keep up with some WWE and New Japan and ROH. And I'm trying to now get back into Impact. So it's a lot of wrestling every week. Here we go. Here's a monthly pin. There we go. Looks like we actually, from the back, looks, looks like we have an Undertaker. Dead Man's Tombstone Deliveries. That's pretty cool. It's a heavy pin. There is a chase variation. And I actually, I like the non-chase variation better. You got that famous purple and black for the Undertaker. Then the chase was like a silver and black. But I actually, personally, I prefer the non-chase, this version, better. Personal preference. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Undertaker. Let's go back in. What else do we have? Looks like this is going to be the magazine. Yep. The back says Pure Chaos, Pure Carnage. We have a pro wrestling comic zine, zine, see, see my kill presents fight forever photos by jessica torres wrestle crate uk special edition give you a little preview i had to look for that later one page at a time check out all of the wrestling goodness in there here we go autograph two autographs one one, one autograph i feel like two or three page papers in there right now here's first autograph possibly there's two more things in there, so I'm guessing a cheat sheet and maybe a second autograph. We have, oh, what's his name? He's in ROH. Um, was it J Joe Henry? Is, does that sound right? Like I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get caught up with ROH. Like I'm, I don't have any like channel here that actually shows him, so I stream it online whenever I have time. I'm trying to catch up on ROH because they're doing some great things right now, also. Looks like this is whenever he, he was in ICW. I think it's just like Joe Henry, but I know he's now in ROH. Pretty cool. Nice autograph. I think there's another autograph in here. Feels like it. And then a cheat sheet, maybe? I mean, it's pulling both out. Okay, the back thing is a cheat sheet or an advertisement. All right, yeah, we do have another autograph here. Who do we got? We have, oh, nice, freaking Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock. That's actually a nice autograph. I actually don't have any Ken Shamrock autographs, I don't think. It's actually my first one, so I'm happy about that because I'm a huge autograph collector. And 
I'm happy with that. I don't have any Ken Shamrocks as far as I can remember, so I'm super happy with that. This low is probably worth the whole price of the box. That's a nice autograph, Ken Shamrock. Here we go, looks like, yeah, this is gonna be the cheat sheet. And show the inside of it, show you what we're looking at. Let's see, Ken Shamrock, hand signed answers and an original artwork signed by uh, NWA World Heavyweight Champion and UFC Hall of Fame legend Ken, Ken Shamrock. And then we have the New Generation t shirt, which I actually really have. I like the t-shirt. My favorite items were the t-shirt and the Ken Shamrock autograph. It says, before the Attitude Era was a new generation of wrestlers in the Fed. The likes of Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Diesel, Undertaker ushered in this new generation's era of pro wrestling was the epitome of the early 90s, which was celebrating with exclusive tea. And then we got Brian Danielson DVD. Okay, oh, Joe Hendry. The other autograph, ROH star Joe Hendry makes his debut with his hand-signed portrait. This photo was taken at ICW Fight Club. Hand-signed by a local hero for WrestleCrate subscribers. Nice! And then we got the Tombstone pin, the Fight Forever design, the magazine, Zoe Lucas Beauty Wrestler nail set. So that's what we got for this month's WrestleCrate UK. And this was a good box. I liked it. T-shirt was fantastic. The Ken Shamrock autograph, I actually needed a Ken Shamrock from my autograph collection, so I'm super happy about that. So two huge thumbs up to WrestleCrate. Rich, once again, thank you to Richard for sending this out to me to review on YouTube. My honest opinion, this is a good box. If you're a wrestling fan, you'll like this box. So I'll see you next month with another WrestleCrate. <laughs>